But before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way with these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by seven customer support. The Happy New Year software special sale is live right now. So don't miss out KeysFan. Upgrade your software at unbeatable prices today. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 52% discount for Windows Series with RTG52 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and Bundle with RTG62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back again. In this video, we're setting up and testing out the Game Hub Fusion emulator on a low-end Snapdragon device. And this is my Galaxy phone, powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G with an Adreno 619 GPU. Performance-wise, it's quite similar to the Snapdragon 695 or even the 6S Gen 3. This phone comes with six gigs of RAM and UFS storage. All right, now I'll close everything. So I've already installed Game Hub Fusion Emulator on this device, let's open it up. All right, everything is already set. I've already covered how to set up this emulator in a previous video. If you missed that, make sure to check the description. Also, one more thing, go to app settings and set battery to unrestricted mode. This will help improve performance. Now, as usual, tap on the profile icon. Select game. Now here you need to import the games. For this video, I'm testing GTA 5. I've already copied all the pre-installed data files. Import the game launcher executable file. This will load all the assets and game data. All right, it's updated. Now confirm. It will automatically update the required drivers like firmware, DXVK, and others to run on your Android device. Just make sure you have an active internet connection to download all the necessary files. Now, let's open the game. Go to game settings. Set the resolution to the lowest 600p. Set DirectX HUD to simple. Now, go to compatibility wine 9.5 is already set. In translation params, set safe flags value to zero and leave the rest as default. GPU driver is set to turn up version 25. DXVK version is 1.10.3. Box 64 version is 0.28. CPU cores set to no limit. In input mapping, enable input mapping for on-screen controls. That's it. Now let's get back. These settings apply to other devices too. You need at least an Adreno 610 or higher, along with 6 GB of RAM or more. If you're using a 4 GB RAM device, it may not work. Now, I'll also import the save file of this game to path to skip the first level. All right, everything is set. Now let's exit the container. Tap on play now. Okay, it started guys. Wait a second, I'll turn off the Wi-Fi to avoid interruptions during the test. Set it to full screen. Now in the performance section, enable frame limit. Set the limit value to 60. Yeah, that should be more than enough. And there we go, guys. We're getting around 12 to 13 FPS, of course. We're still inside the house. Now, let's try HDR mode. Set to on. All right. But still, we are getting the same FPS, which is kind of okay for this device. Now, let's move to outside. All right, all right. Yeah, it's still holding up. Let's head over to settings, graphics settings. As you can see, DirectX is set to version 11, which is quite demanding, and all other settings are set to normal. Let's switch it back to DirectX 10 for better FPS. And let's see, and there it is. But still, the FPS remains the same. It's not even hitting the 20s, it's only utilizing 50% of the GPU. That's quite weird.
Now the phone is throttling and heating up a lot. Now the GPU usage has dropped to 25%. And the performance has gotten even worse after playing for around like 15 minutes. A lot of you guys asked me to test GTA 4 on this emulator, but unfortunately, it's not working. However, I already tested it in my recent Win Later 9 video, so check out the cards or the description. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked it. Make sure to subscribe for more. Also, in my recent video, I tested this emulator on MediaTek and Exynos Mali device with GTA 5. To my surprise, it actually loaded up for real. If you missed that, check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.